Good evening, Dr. Phil here. Today we'll be discussing on gases and vapors, part one. Important physics concepts. A gas is a substance possessing perfect molecular mobility and the property of indefinite expansion as opposed to a solid or a liquid. It is also referred to as a gaseous state of a substance when it's above its critical temperature. The kinetic theory of gases states that gases are composed of enormous numbers of molecules separated by large distances. These molecules move and collide randomly with each other and the walls of the container, but otherwise do not interact with each other. These collisions are perfectly elastic, i.e. no energy is transferred. The kinetic energy of gas particles is proportional to their temperature. A perfect gas is a theoretical gas that completely obeys the universal gas law. It refers to a gas that contains molecules of infinite small size, which therefore occupy no volume themselves and which have no force of attraction between them. No such gas actually exists. Hydrogen comes closest to being a perfect gas. Commonly used anesthetic gases obey the gas laws reasonably well. Vapor is a gaseous state of a substance when it's below its critical temperature. Vapors can be condensed into a liquid by increasing the pressure applied to it without reducing its temperature. Aerosol refers to a suspension of teeny particles of liquid solid or both within a gas. A liquid is a nearly incompressible fluid that conforms to the shape of its container but retains a nearly constant volume independent of pressure. Solid is a state of matter characterized by particles arranged such that their shape and volume are relatively stable. Volume refers to quantity of a three-dimensional shape enclosed by a closed surface. Pressure is force per unit area. Its SI unit is Pascal. 1 atm equals 101.3 kPa equals 1.01 bar equals 760 mmHg equals 760 tor equals 14.6 psi. Partial pressure is the pressure that would be exerted by one of the gases in a gas mixture if it occupied the entire volume of the original mixture at the same temperature. Heat is the form of energy that passes between two samples owing to the differences in their temperatures. It is measured in joules. Heat energy flows from a substance of a higher temperature to a substance of a lower temperature. Heat capacity is the amount of heat in joules needed to raise the temperature of an object by 1 Kelvin. Its unit is joules per Kelvin. Specific heat capacity is the amount of heat in joules needed to raise the temperature of 1 kg of a specific object by 1 Kelvin. Its unit is joules per kg per Kelvin. Latent heat. Latent heat is the heat energy that is required for a material to undergo a change of phase. Not all heat energy results in a temperature change. In order for a material to change phase from solid to liquid or from liquid to gas, some energy must be supplied to it to enable its component atoms to alter their arrangement. These same amounts of energy will be released into the surroundings when the change of phase is in the reverse direction. Specific latent heat of fusion is the amount of heat required at a specific temperature to convert a unit mass of solid to liquid without temperature change. Specific latent heat of vaporization is the amount of heat energy required at a specified temperature to convert a unit mass of liquid into vapor without temperature change. Specific latent heat of sublimation is the amount of heat energy required at a specified temperature to convert a unit mass of solid into vapor without temperature change. The heating curve. This curve shows the temperature of a substance in relation to time as a constant amount of heat is being supplied per unit time. Phase changes occur during the plateaus of the curve. At these points, the substance does not change its temperature despite continuing to absorb heat energy from the surroundings. This is the heating curve of water. The curve crosses the y-axis at a negative value. Between the plateaus, the slope is approximately linear. The plateaus visually represent latent heat. 
the first plateau represents specific latent heat of fusion and occurs at 0 degrees Celsius. It is short in duration. 334 kilojoules per kg is absorbed at this time. The second plateau represents specific latent heat of vaporization and occurs at 100 degrees Celsius. It is longer in duration. 2260 kilojoules per kg is absorbed at this time. Latent heat is relevant when considering nitrous oxide stored in cylinders. The pressure reading on the cylinder can't be used to accurately estimate the amount of nitrous oxide remaining in the cylinder. As nitrous oxide is discharged from a cylinder, it vaporizes, requiring energy in the form of heat, latent heat of vaporization, and ice may form on the lower part of the cylinder during continuous use. This process cools the cylinder, reducing the SVP and the cylinder pressure. The pressure recovers when the cylinder is closed and it warms back to environmental temperature. The saturated vapor pressure will only decrease when all the liquid nitrous oxide is consumed and the tank is almost empty. What pressure exists in a half full size D cylinder of nitrous oxide and what volume of nitrous oxide remains? In a nitrous oxide cylinder, nitrous oxide exists as a liquid form with a gas layer above. As the cylinder is open, the liquid undergoes vaporization to maintain the gas layer as the nitrous oxide gas escapes from the cylinder. If the cylinder is being emptied slowly, the pressure reading will not change from 44 bar until it is nearly empty as the liquid nitrous oxide maintains the gas layer. If it is being emptied quickly, the heat in the volume of the liquid nitrous oxide will be inadequate to supply the amount of latent heat of vaporization required to keep the gas layer at 44 bar. Thus, the pressure reading becomes unpredictable. In either case, a half full size D cylinder of nitrous oxide contains 450 liters. Temperature Temperature is a measure of the mean kinetic energy of the molecules of a substance. When heat is supplied to an object, the mean kinetic energy of its molecules increases and its temperature increases. When heat is removed from an object, the mean kinetic energy of its molecules decreases and its temperature decreases. Temperature is the property of matter that determines in which direction heat energy will flow when an object is in contact with another of a different temperature. Kelvin The old definition is 1 Kelvin equals 1 divided by 273.16 of the thermodynamic triple point of water. Triple point refers to the temperature and pressure at which all three phases of a substance, solid, liquid and gas, are in equilibrium. The triple point of water occurs at 0.01 .01 degrees Celsius and 611.73 Pa. The new definition of Kelvin in the 2018 General Conference on Weights and Measures decided that effective from May 20, 2019, 1 Kelvin would be defined such that the Boltzmann constant would be equal to 1.380649 times 10 to the negative power 23 Joule per Kelvin. A change in temperature of 1 Kelvin is equal in magnitude to that of 1 degree Celsius. Celsius, also known as degree centigrade, is a common measure of temperature in which a change in temperature of 1 degree Celsius is equal in magnitude to that of 1 Kelvin and negative 273.15 degrees Celsius equals 0 Kelvin. Critical temperature The critical temperature of a gas is the temperature at which it cannot be liquefied no matter how great the pressure that is applied to it. Pseudo-critical temperature is defined as the temperature at which a gas mixture separates into its component parts. Regarding antonox, it is composed of 50% oxygen and 50% nitrous oxide. It is the only stored gas mixture in common use in anesthesia. The critical temperature of oxygen is negative 118.6 degrees Celsius and the critical temperature of nitrous oxide is 36.5 degrees Celsius. The pseudo-critical temperature of antonox for an antonox cylinder at 137 bar, this is negative 7 degrees Celsius. For an antonox pipeline at 4 bar, it is negative 30 degrees Celsius. Thus, antonox cylinders must be stored above the pseudo-critical temperature or else nitrous oxide will liquefy. If nitrous oxide liquefies, this is potentially dangerous because although at this point nitrous oxide has about 20% oxygen dissolved in it, 
Initially, an oxygen-rich mixture will be delivered, followed by a nitrous oxide-rich gas and the delivery of a hypoxic mixture. To avoid delivering possible hypoxic gas mixtures, warm the cylinder or ensure thorough mixing of the contents of the gas cylinder of Antonox. Critical Pressure The critical pressure of a substance is the pressure required to liquefy a gas at its critical temperature. Triple Point is the temperature and pressure at which the three phases, vapor, liquid and solid, of that substance coexist in thermodynamic equilibrium. Saturated Vapor Pressure Vapor pressure is the pressure exerted by a vapor that is in equilibrium with its solid or liquid form. Saturated vapor is a vapor that is in thermodynamic equilibrium with a liquid or solid of the same chemical composition. In a closed container, evaporation will proceed until there are as many molecules returning to the liquid as they are escaping. At this point, the vapor is said to be saturated. Saturated vapor pressure is the pressure exerted by a vapor when it is completely saturated and in equilibrium with its liquid form. It's the maximum partial pressure of a vapor that can be achieved at a given temperature. It is usually expressed in millimeters mercury. The relationship of SVP and temperature is non-linear. The higher the temperature, the higher the kinetic energy each molecule has, and the more molecules can escape the surface of the liquid, and the saturated vapor pressure becomes higher. If a liquid is open to the air, the vapor pressure of that liquid equals its partial pressure, along with the other constituents of the air. Boiling point is the temperature at which the vapor pressure equals atmospheric pressure. Relevance of SVP with volatile anesthetic agents a highly volatile agent has a higher saturated vapor pressure and is present at much higher concentration than a less volatile agent. SVP of volatile agents at 20 degrees Celsius are usually many times greater than that required to produce anesthesia. Vaporizer designs have to overcome this phenomenon to avoid overdosing of anesthetic agent by having a means to provide accurate concentrations of anesthetic agents to the patient. The SVP in KPA at 20 degrees Celsius, for sevoflurane, it is 22, amflurane, 23, halotane, 32, isoflurane, 32, desflurane, 89, nitrous oxide, 5200. Maximum achievable concentration in volumes percent. For sevoflurane, SVP of sevoflurane is 22.7 KPA. Its maximum achievable concentration is 22.4%, which is 22.7 divided by 101.325. For desflurane, the SVP of desflurane is 89.2 kPa and its maximum achievable concentration is 88%, which is 89.2 divided by 101.325. Boiling point is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of a liquid equals the ambient pressure above it. When SVP equals ambient pressure, the liquid boils and the vapor concentration at the surface of the liquid is 100%. Boiling point decreases as ambient pressure decreases. Melting point is the temperature at which a sample of matter changes state from solid to liquid. Diffusion is the spontaneous movement of a substance from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. The critical temperature, critical pressure and boiling points of H2O, oxygen, carbon dioxide and nitrous oxide. Oxygen Critical temperature is negative 118.6 degrees Celsius. Critical pressure is 49.8 atm. Boiling point is negative 183 degrees Celsius. Carbon dioxide. Critical temperature is 31.04 degrees Celsius. Critical pressure is 72.8 atm. And boiling point, negative 79 degrees Celsius. For nitrous oxide, the critical temperature is 36.4 degrees Celsius. Critical pressure is 71.5 atm. Boiling point is negative 88 degrees Celsius. For water, the critical temperature is 373.946 degrees Celsius. Critical pressure is 217.75 atm. Critical point occurs at around 647 Kelvin and 22.064 MPa. There is no change of state when pressure is increased. 
or if heat is added at this point. Water and steam can't be distinguished at the critical point. Critical point density is 0.322 grams per cm cube. Triple point of water is 611 Pa at 0.01 degrees Celsius. The triple point density of water is 0.99979 grams per cm cube. These are my references. Thank you.